Hello everyone, I am Pilot Gamers and welcome to First Watch and Fun. Today I take, take a look at Necro. Uh, this is, game is brought to you by uh, Dark Forge Games. Uh, this is uh, their, their first uh, game, basically from the studio. Uh, the studio is comprised by a lot of guys from a lot of places like Blizzard and Microsoft uh, and various other places. Uh, but there's obviously quite a lot of the pedigree here. Uh, I should really show you everything else before I jump into that. Uh, on the options menu you have quite a lot, uh, it's really nice actually, there's a, a lot of options here. Uh, a lot more than I could even ask for with a lot of this stuff. An antistrophic filter you don't see a lot of. Uh, which, and a lot of other things you know, you don't see a lot of, but you know it's good to see it's there. Uh, the music volume and sound volume there as well as unit chat and narrations, pretty cool to have. Uh, and then you have key bindings here, the one thing they don't have for key bindings is camera. That's set currently at Q&E, which is a good spot to have them at, but I'd like to see uh, them potentially give you some uh, key bindings for that. That'd be nice, you know, especially since uh, de by default uh, the screenshot button for Steam is set at Q. Uh, that's a problem. I mean, you could change the uh, screenshot button if you wanted for Steam, but it's just nice to be able to uh, change as many stuff as possible. Uh, I think the social hall here is for uh, if you're connected to Facebook and Twitter, being able to uh, share stuff on that, I'd imagine. Uh, the tutorials there, obviously, you can uh, do, have that uh, took off completely, which is nice for people who just want to get stuck into the action and aren't fans that much of tutorials. Uh, that's always nice to have, I mean, uh, a couple of other options there. Uh, I haven't had a chance to uh, check out multiplayer before we go any so I just wanted to tell you that. Uh, it would be nice to do it in the future for a Crazy Carp show, but I haven't uh, been able to delve into it at the minute. Uh, it is a pretty, uh, I would say the word is uh, more function than finesse, I I'd like to say that because uh, if you want to join a game you got to put the, uh, the IP of the uh, host in order to connect to it it's just a little more legwork than you know I'd like to do but it's still pretty slim uh, and street uh, I should say streamlined considering this is an early access beta you know things will be uh, changing and going forward and it's it's very functional for what it is considering it's uh, very early in the beta in terms of the Republic uh, single player, I've played a lot of. I've played as two classes so far. Uh, the third I haven't played as is the Grenadier. I've put a lot of uh, effort into this. Uh, and I've been able to uh, get quite far. Trinkets, uh, there's just loads of different stuff here, but I'll just give you an idea of what each thing does in terms of, you know, what the purpose of different things are. So. Trinkets are essentially uh, an idea where you can use them once per game uh, level, I should say, not necessarily a game, but uh, and they all have individual different buffs or just detriments to the opponent, you know, that sort of stuff, which is uh, cool to uh, have there and just gives the game a little more flavour. Then you've got your character here, I'm currently playing as the Outlaw. Uh, and you obviously can upgrade him, which is a nice RPG element to have. I've yet to upgrade health, so we'll do that. Uh, and that's powers. Now, the way you get powers is every time you complete a level, you get a power. So you can upgrade one of these three things and customise your character to the liking of that. Uh, then you've got your second uh, drop-down menu sort of thing here, which is uh, summons. Now, these are... Uh, different sort of units you can cast join a level to help you sort of fight the uh, flood of creatures trying to take you out. Now I've got loads to uh, spend here on sins so I'm going to get this new character here. Uh, that's going to uh, help us along. Um, and basically you can spend sins. Now sins are essentially almost like a random drop item within the levels. Uh, well, I assume it's random because I haven't seen any consistency with it. However, they might be somewhat I'm unaware of, but you'll see that in the gameplay itself. 
Uh, it seems that some uh, characters and stuff are coming soon, so there's lots to be added still within the beta, which is nice to see. Uh, I will, of course, leave a link in the description below if you want to uh, play this game for yourself on Steam. Uh, the access, so bear in mind that once again I said it's uh, in uh, beta, uh, it's not a complete product, you know, there's still stuff to be added, which is nice to see in most uh, cases. We could add something else, you know, just to uh, use a poor our sins, so I think we will. And uh, without further ado, this is like your final menu, which is just to say what you've got what your character is and what someone's on. In case you've uh, accidentally misclicked or whatever, you know for sure that this is what you wanted. Uh, we can get straight into the level now and we can show you a bit of gameplay. I don't see why not. Uh, and it's very interesting indeed. So uh, what you can do is essentially do a lot of things. Uh, your blood is essentially like a mana in terms of each thing has a certain amount of cost to, to use. And um, you can get this by uh, e by mainly f uh, eating uh, the corpses of the enemies, uh, or basically within your drops. Uh, well, not your drops, your trinkets, which uh, can provide stuff like blood and different st health, different stuff like that. Now we're going to use our first uh, summon ability, which is Scourge Attack, which can either do like an explosive damage. Or it can be used to possess uh, uh, characters what have that yellow arrow you've seen there. Uh, another thing with uh, summons are these particular ones. You can play them as is. Or if there's a corpse nearby, you can use him on that corpse. And it will uh, give you a bonus in terms of its health, its damage. I think it all around just a better creature than if you used to play it normally, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we're going to move on ahead and see if we can't uh, complete the objective given to us. Now obviously uh, it looks just kind of a blur in terms of the combat at the minute because there's just a lot of the characters on screen. But uh, we seem to have took them out pretty uh, easy. Now we're going to feed on the corpses because this will give us uh, the additional blood I was talking about. And now we can uh, get uh, some more units to fight for us. Now that was a little out of range because you sort of forgot to be in that circle as far as I'm aware. So uh, that's something to be wary of in terms of your uh, whereabouts. We've now got quite a, a task force to set about taking everyone out. Now that's a danger because basically it means it's a spawn zone. Now let's turn ourselves around so that we can uh, take out the creatures in here. And it will just basically be an absolute swarm here from both sides really. But we should be able to take them out relatively easy. I say that we have just, it's not going well for me at the minute. And I might be getting took out here. It's a possibility. Oh crap. <laughs> I think it's pretty fair to assess that I'm going to get took out, yeah. So, but not a lot of this is uh, working out where the spawns are, where the different enemies are, and being able to know exactly what's best for the scenario you've got. So, right there, that was a classic uh, example of me just failing. And uh, that's not great. That's one of the other things with this game. It's really about being able to uh, find out what's the best idea in terms of your individual play style, especially with characters, because there's a, there's a, uh, currently there's three. I think they're planning on adding another two, which is good. Uh, and it's there you've got basically at the minute there's three this is the outlaw this is basically your tanky unit he's basically there for your sort of in your face action sort of trying to just tank the damage and just hit hard but with no real range to himself how i'm saying that he has got an, a second ability which i'll show shortly which sort of helps the deficit on that uh, but in terms of uh, 
but that basically sums up his unit. Then there's, I think, Grim the Grenadier, I think his name is. Uh, he's the only character I haven't played. From what I've seen, though, he's like a mid-range unit. He's sort of like a jack-of-all-trades, master-of-none sort of uh, scenario. Uh, but that's uh, his role. Now oh, that's an interesting. That's a bad idea. We'll uh, try going up here, see how that uh, prevails. I doubt that that'll be any smarter, but we can hope. We can definitely do that. Now he has this chain ability, which if I can get away from all these mobs, show you where you sort of just hook you near, so that you can just uh, wail on him, which is nice. Definitely uh, helps. Now obviously I've just discovered a uh, trinket there, which is how you uh, obtain them through the levels, being able to just discover new uh, characters. I think right now we're going to uh, drop one of the uh, fours, the uh, oh, fourths on the purge, which will hopefully uh, help us take out uh, our bigger, the bigger units around here. Uh, it seems that we're able to tank a lot of damage here, hopefully, without any too, uh, too much trouble at all. And we have indeed done that. So this was obviously a better way round. Uh, it seems that we're, we could do with a bit more blood to help us out in that respect. So we can do another four. Now we'll drop him on the uh, corpse. Because obviously that will give him a uh, aforementioned uh, buff in terms of uh, what he can do. And we'll uh, just uh, eat that other corpse as well. And then we can uh, take back a turn and go back and uh, take some more stuff out. Now the aim of this level uh, is to uh, be able to just get enough souls to uh, complete the level. That's basically uh, kill just enough people I think. So uh, we should be able to do that no problem at all. A problem? It's a problem. That's like probably a problem I think. But still. Uh, in terms of the graphic style uh, and aesthetic in general, I, I really like what they've done. It seems to have quite a unique feel to it. I quite like how the uh, models look, especially. I think they've done a really nice number on them. Uh, in terms of just how they've made them all look in general. Uh, I'm really a fan of that. Now we should be able to come into uh, this place and uh, we'll have a bit more trouble than we've had so far because of uh, the uh, characters we're having to deal with. And it might be an idea to uh, use a trinket, why not? I don't see why not. And uh, here we have got to uh, get our corpse back so that we can progress. There's quite a lot up here, so we're going to have to uh, be a little more careful than usual. Because we don't want to uh, get too overrun. And already we are getting a bit... Uh, flanked a little. What I will say also about the character models is there's a lot of variety in enemy types. There's there's probably been, I've encountered at least five different uh, models so far and I'm about five levels in I think, so that's uh, quite a nice average. Uh, I can already think of uh, these two ranged units, there's also that uh, that guy you've seen earlier, the sort of tankier ones. I'll sort of try and use them to help with the uh, war effort, as it were. And we'll be using 
another trinket, uh, which will uh, give us a health buff there. And we are running low on units, so we can do with some more of them. So we'll just sort of take a back seat to in order to uh, sort of help us regroup. The problem is when you get sort of picked off like that, you, you can find it quite hard to get back into a state where you're sort of powerful enough to uh, make a comeback, I found. It tends to go quite downhill if you're not careful. Which uh, is probably uh, the best thing for the game. Because you don't want to be able to just run off, come back and then just wreak havoc again without any sort of consequence to how your earlier actions were. Because that's uh, not always the best thing. Uh, we will just get some more bats because uh, they what the best thing about them is they can uh, replenish health in sort of in uh, a fashion like the uh, vampiric uh, abilities if you're uh, aware of what they're like sort of they uh, do so much damage and then they sort of gain back a little bit of health for the uh, damage they've dealt which is quite nice to have uh, we could probably do with a bit of health, a bit of blood, be a good idea. And just uh, sort of hopefully be able to do enough damage to uh, keep going. Making my final stand there, because I've once again been defeated. And you'll find that a lot where you're just constantly uh, having to work towards that goal of being able to uh, finally complete the level. Uh, another uh, piece of uh, commenting I want to make on the game is that uh, it's more of a, a preference than necessarily a uh, outright uh, problem with the game, but when you complete a level, you go straight onto the uh, map to com start the next level, which I find a problem when after every level you know you're going to want to upgrade, so surely it makes sense to be able to go straight to the upgrade screen instead of a map to uh, sort of in be able to uh, do them upgrades without having to uh, have to press escape to get onto the upgrade menu, which uh, is just a case of... Uh, quality of life and anything, which is something they could easily fix while in the beta. I just thought I'd uh, level that piece of criticism uh, at the game so that, you know, it just gives some uh, sort of ideas for the uh, devs on how to uh, improve it. Uh, they've probably thought of it already. This is obviously more function than uh, finesse, as I've said earlier. Uh, hopefully this time around we won't have so much trouble. It seems that, you know, you, you've got to be able to know what's the best uh, way to deal with the situation and the enemies at hand. And uh, sometimes, you know, you can, like I say, once you get in a bad position, it's hard to come back from that. You've kind of just uh, shot yourself in the foot right there and then, and you, there's going to be very little ways of uh, being able to get back on track. Which is uh, a shame, but it does happen. It's very much a momentum based game. Uh, another thing was when I played as uh, another class, I can't remember, uh, it was the third class which I haven't spoke about, which was basically uh, like a mage. Uh, it wasn't very, uh, it had hardly any health, uh, it, uh, it had a, a great range on it, and I've just found it very tricky to uh, be able to uh, do well with the class. Now, what I realised after I sort of started my next playthrough was that the reason I kept having so much trouble, really, was because I just just didn't even consider the fact that I sort of should have been constantly trying to get that, uh, uh, it's, it's sort of secondary ability, it was kind of key for the character, and I, I forgot that the uh, ability was there a lot of the time. 
because uh, it's, sort of, it's just something you sort of forget about. I've got to be honest, I've been able to uh, remember about it so much more with this character because I sort of know why it is sort of a lot more poignant, whereas the, the character's cl uh, ability there was sort of something what healed you and could deal more damage as far as I was aware. And I don't know, I just didn't remember to keep using it. It happens, I suppose. And we will uh, make a second blob here. And we should hopefully, uh, well obviously it's a more powerful uh, purge, so it should be able to do a better job. I think that uh, big pile of creatures what sort of just annihilated me the first time round. I'm probably best to be avoided and go for the littler enemies first. There, yeah, we've sort of been able to talk to him, so hopefully uh, he shouldn't be able to get away. No, he's going to be took out very soon. So we'll uh, create some more bats, because I think we've lost a few. And then uh, just get some... Uh, get our uh, guy back, our uh, soldier, and uh, we could do with more bats, it's nice to always uh, remember them, and there's a guy over here we should probably take care of, so I've kind of got a better uh, idea of where we need to go this time around, because it is quite methodical in uh, how you approach the level I feel, Feel that you uh, got you've got to take into account the whole level. In fact, I think these are respawns, but still, it's probably best to uh, take them out. Ooh, and a uh, trinket's uh, been acquired there. In fact, no, this is a totally different part. I think. Did I just go in with basically no one? I think I did. Hopefully that purge will sort of create a distraction slightly. And I can uh, attempt to regroup. So uh, we should be able to take out these guys not too trickily, it might be a bit tough based on the lack of units, but that happens. Uh, we'll use a trinket here I think, might be the best idea. I wouldn't call myself a pro to players at the minute, but I've definitely managed to uh, sort of pick up some ideas. So that should give us a lot more blood to uh, play with going into uh, taking out these two little uh, creatures and uh, hopefully being able to uh, gain a few more minions to help us out. So uh, we'll get more bats because we could do with some. So that brings us back up to five bats and uh, should allow us to complete the level to be honest. I think the best way to uh, go about this now is to go back on ourselves uh, and hopefully that will uh, lead to the best outcome possible. Oh, it won't respawn, it was just a different area, I was just checking that uh, they won't respawn there. I probably want to go down to uh, changing to my critical hit uh, trinket for, to uh, use that to sort of give the uh, most out of what we can do given that we uh, could do with some more health we'll do that Hopefully that'll help. 
I think we've ended up in the same sort of situation as before, though, to be honest. I'm trying to give myself some sort of safeguard away from all these enemies. I think we've managed to do that slightly with uh, how we've dealt with most of these enemies. Ah, there we go. Whew! That was a close one, I've got to be honest. I could easily use that cloak, and I don't know why I didn't. But... Whichever way you look at it, I've now been able to uh, assemble a bit of a task force to help me out. Now uh, I can get more bats, which is good. That seems to help a lot. And uh, I think we should be able to uh, take out the rest of this group now. I'll just let the bats get in. Do the required damage. They seem to have done quite the job. There we go. And straight away, we are getting close to finishing this level. And I can conclude with my uh, thoughts. Because to be honest, I think it's it's looking like a very promising uh, product indeed. Just from what I've played from it, and I know that they've got a lot of plans for the game in future. Which is always good to see. So I think he's the last character around here. So we'll just let the bats take him out. Because that seems to be the way forward now. Uh, once again, just uh, bring more bats out, because I think I was on four, so now I'm on five. Plus, uh, they've not took so much damage. Uh, should I use my cape? Probably at some point. I don't know if now's the best time. I don't know how I'm going to approach this part, necessarily. I might go back on myself and sort of take care of some more hyenas because they're probably the best idea to go with for now. So I can take them out pretty easily which is nice in its own right. So I'll now eat them, get some blood, and then, uh, I think to be honest, uh, I should put it in a good spot. Is that just a grounded? Yeah. Okay, so that just deals sort of a splash damage. Uh, to be honest, I think we can just go straight into that area and take them out. It could be a little dangerous, but, you know, I'm all about danger. It's exciting. So we'll pull on him straight away. So we'll try and deal with them one by one as best as possible. Because I feel that's the best way to uh, deal with them. There we go. Being able to do the same again. We have attracted a second character, but he's sort of weaker, so I'm not too concerned about him. You've really got to break it down a lot more than you'd think. In uh, terms of it's sort of surprisingly uh, clever how the game's done. And you uh, it can creep up on you. Then uh, we'll try and just take him. And we'll uh, take out the second guy behind him as well. Seeing as we're managing to sort of contain them quite well. We'll uh, get a four drop here. 
and then we'll uh, trap him. Now that we've sort of got the uh, shooters at us, we're going to have a bit more trouble, but nothing we can't take care of. That splash damage can be a bit of a problem. Managed to uh, get rid of it though. Stop it being a problem for too long, that is. In fact, it might be an idea to take one with the uh, trinket ability. So we'll uh, try and do that. Take him, and then hopefully uh, we shouldn't have too many problems. He was a little out of range and I would have liked. We're down to two enemies now, uh, and that's going to be uh, a lot easier to deal with, I feel. However, we are running low on uh, units of our own, so we should probably try and use this one here. Just, uh, Try and get in enough range without attracting too much attention. And we have uh, dealt with him pretty well. Just make sure we've got enough health there. There we go. Not too much trouble at all, is it, guys? <laughs> so you'll see what I mean now about the fact that uh, there is a bit of a problem with how uh, you get delivered straight to the map. I, I don't like it myself, but maybe it's just a point of interest to me rather than others. Uh, I don't know. If you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Anyway, so uh, now it's sort of straight away we've been to on the map so we have to now press escape if we want to go up to the upgrade now naturally you'd think hey well obviously you're going to want to upgrade so why haven't you made that the case to go straight to the upgrades however i suppose that's more of a choice uh what does that do helpers oh i'm always looking for helpers that's not a great idea i probably i don't use that so much the uh ability to take an enemy I feel it's uh, useful in uh, more areas than I naturally uh, tend to use. That looks like an interesting creature when we unlock him. Uh, but yeah, I think that's been a cool look at the game. Uh, in uh, my closing thoughts, in, uh, in terms of I would say it's surprisingly polished. It's a, it's a very look, good looking game. Uh, I feel that the further we go on, you know, there will be a lot more polish added to the game. It will just naturally just be a lot better game in general. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what uh, Dark Forge games do next with this game, and uh, look forward to seeing how the uh, multiplayer, uh, the co-op sort of uh, is in uh, terms of in comparison. Because I, I do wonder if it ramps up the difficulty because you've got extra players on your team or not. Uh, that'll be interesting to see. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you a bit of that in a crazy co-op show in the future. Uh, if you've liked this video, uh, like it. Uh, if you want to uh, check out this game for yourself, there will be a link in the description to the uh, game. It is early access uh, and uh, in beta still, so be aware of that. And uh, other than that, I would say thanks for watching everyone, and goodbye!